help Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. This morning, before I start this morning program, I have to issue a disclaimer. What I, re I wrote here, Mazen Namdekano sends shocking message to to Ebukobi and uh, and uh, Mbaka. Doesn't happen. But since they are saying Mazen Namdekano this, Mazen Namdekano that, nothing is impossible in that Nigeria. That is the reason why I am ahead of them. Their next move is to meet uh, pastors, meet reverend fathers, meet uh, ministers of God. I respect Reverend Father Mbaka and I respect Ebukobi. But nothing is impossible in that zoological republic. At a time, people are anxious of releasing Onyendu. The people in charge are the people who cause themselves men that are supposed to act. Is telling you Onyendu said, Onyendu said. So don't be surprised tomorrow when uh, one of these popular ministers will come out and say, after visiting Onyendu, Onyendu said, because they have done that against the well respected king, Akaju Afuibo. So nothing is impossible. But the area that I want us to be looking at, I did not write it. Now, let's look at what Mazi Paul Achebe said previously, so that you will understand the games that they are playing. All of you were around before DSS started blocking ordinary people that will pass information. If they notice that you will pass information, to right people, DSS will block you and then position a job for to then choose. Imagine DSS choosing the best for Mazen Namdekano, somebody that is holding you. Now I want us to look at this angle. Mazi Paul Achebe came out and said something that only uh, do uh, he recognize it. Uh, let me first recognize the first commentator here. Emeko Odo, you are the first commentator in today's program. Share to many groups. Mazi Paul Achebe said, Onyendu, since Onyendu don't want to recognize Ndi Hana Hana Arukonu, Na Na, Otego DS, DOS, Kari Kare Red Line, Akare Red Line, Obudu no Chi recognize Ndi Hana Hana Arukonu, Yano Didia. Which means that Onyendu have rejected all of them. That is the voicing out of their frustration. Now, after that voicing out of the frustration, how can they control the people? That is the next move. The next question that they started asking themselves. How can we control the frustration? Since Onyendu is now looking at us, seeing us as sellout, how can we control the frustration? They went to meeting with DSS. Do not allow anybody, this social so person, to come and visit Onyendu. Do not allow social so person to come and visit Onyendu. Do not allow social so person to come and visit Onyendu. We can only choose who will come. Do you know the next move that they did? Because they have restricted all the people that will visit Onyendu. They went and had meeting with Aloy Ejimako. If you notice that day that Aloy was reading that paper, ordinarily, if you send me a message to come and give you, I will give you the message with confidence. But those to Onyendu did not know about the message that Aloy was saying that Onyendu read, that Onyendu gave to him. He was panicking. If you look at his mouth, <laughs> you look at a very well-learned man, Aloy Ejimako, behaving like a puppet. But I thank Elohim that before he started reading, he said, this is a script I drafted. 
Then he now lie, according to Onyandu. They got a lie, and through a lie, they were able, not that uh, they got a lie, through a lie, they finance a uh, resolution with Kanon Takano and the rest of them. To the same view that Onyandu said, we are asked before you, you have had exposition of Masi Paul Achebe the voicing out of their frustration crying that if Onyandu don't want to recognize the DOS let him stay there which means what uh, Benjamin Madbugu said was a lie he was acting on the order of Nigerian government they all we are working I want you to look at this angle again before I go to Mbaka and Ebukobi I want you to look at this angle again if if Benjamin Madubugu, we are to be sincere, fighting for Biafra. He can never broadcast from Abuja because he have a, a standing court case that absolve him from participating in anything Biafra. So you don't know. Benjamin Madubugu have a standing court case in the same Abuja that said you cannot participate in anything Biafra. Okay, you don't know. But the same person we are broadcasting from Lekwa Soroko, Lekwe Beono, which means they are acting on the order of federal government. Up till now, he is free, rolling the street of Abuja as a free man. After goofing, wow, Chibike, watching from Singapore after goofing from his mouth. So, the angle of Ebu Kobi and Baka, I respect these two people, I respect them. Not that I want to do this, but nothing is impossible. I'm preparing your mind, should in case tomorrow, somebody that you respected as a father or as a minister comes out to goof, know that I have prepared your mind for this day. Nothing is impossible in that damnable zoological republic. Check what Paul Achebe said, and then check the message coming. They are contradicting themselves. Paul Achebe said in his voice out that since Mazin Namdekano don't want to recognize the EOS, since he don't want to recognize them, that he will continue to languish in DSS. Where you didn't you hear it? Okay, Chukwodo, watch him from Kogi. Did you not hear it when Paul Achebe said it? So why are they now coming out to tell you? Onyandu said he rejected. Why Onyandu stood up and shouted at Meriba? We are asked in the order of their voice out when they were voicing out their frustration. They said, so Onyandu is now working with enemies of DOS. That is what they said in their all other voicing out of frustration. They said, so Onyandu was working with enemies of DOS. That, that since Onyandu don't want to recognize them, let him die there. In the other hands, Benjamin told your people that he confronted Onyandu, meaning that he did not go to pass him, meaning that he went and shouted at Onyandu in that place. You know what confrontation is? That's the language that he used. I confronted Onyendu. All of you know, go to your dictionary. Ask your dictionary the word confront confrontation. You will know what it means. Which means that what Paul Achebe said was what is playing out. He went to confirm if Onyendu is supporting Ekmerima, as they call him, then all of them will poison him there. Who knows what is happening to Onyendu now? That is the reason why. Anytime Ekuruoku, please release Mazen Namdekano. Ogorogo Goromba. Release Onyendu. Yogorogo Goromba. In a Husindi. Segina Hana Chobiafra. Now for a couple. That Onyendu said that 
you should stop sit at home. Omo sit at home go the main point. Omo sit at home go the main point. The main point is release Tony and do. That is the main point. What is the point of contention? Release Tony and do. But they will always deviate. They will always channel your mind in fighting. Epenima, epenima. No, if they are to be telling you the truth, can you forget the voice of Paul Lachebe? At least you know from that voice, it is voicing out of frustration. And voicing out of that frustration is the stand of DOS. Have you heard that he is suspended? Have you heard any suspension after making a derogatory statement that Onyendu should rot in jail? Have you heard him suspended? Go to the same Paul Achebe. They have cautioned him. Oh, don't make that statement again so that people will not understand where we are going to. Don't worry. We will control the people. We will send so 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 people to go and say Onyendu said, what they are doing before you is damage control, what we call damage control. That is what they are doing before you. It is called damage control. Because Paul Achebe have already voiced out that particular frustration. So it was, it is ringing and echoing in the minds of everyone. They now caution him, don't make that statement again. If you notice after Paul Achebe made that particular statement, that Onyendu should rot in jail, go and watch his next broadcast. He titled it, Our Leader. I don't, I have forgotten the same, uh, something, our leader. The same leader, the same person you called your leader, is the person that you said he will rot in jail since he don't want to recognize you. So, he is not your leader, you are his leader. I don't know if anyone is getting the point. If I have to, if I take you as my master, I will respect your order, whatever your stand is, I will respect it. But go to, I see you as lesser than me. You are not my master. I am the person ordering you. If what Paul Achebe said is not the stand of the US, by now he would be suspended. Did you hear, I, I hear any memo? I am just drawing your mind so you know what they are doing is damage control. They have understand that this man have goofed and the whole autopilot media, the federal government in exile, is in their platforms. So they now sit down. This is a well-craft something and then channel. What can we do now? How can we control the minds of the people? They now say, okay. Don't worry. Barrister Ifani Jofo, they have known him as a liar. We don't, he don't have to go there again. Oya Benjamin Umadabugu. Some people saw you in the court with Onyendu those days. Just go there and said, Onyendu said. And lo and behold, Benjamin did not even meet Onyendu. But he was giving you the order. Onyendu said, it is called damage control. And the same damage control, I am preparing your mind because we are in the era of Onyendu said, I am now preparing your mind, should in case you sleep tomorrow and wake up and hear that, uh, oh, I respect Mbaka. I hear from Mbaka, for instance, which I respect, that Mbaka went to DSS and meet with Onyendu, and Onyendu said that Simon is a perima. Know that they are playing to the gallery of damage control. How can we be able to control the minds of people? At this time, what you need is mental toughness. The other, what we are seeking, is release of Onyendu. Not Onyendu said. And we cannot back down because of damage control. Onyendu said, Onyendu did not say. That is not the bone of contention. The bone of contention here is release Onyendu. It's to release Onyendu. 
That is the bone of contention. Now, tomorrow, you may sleep and wake up and hear that Ebukobi, I respect Ebukobi, for instance, but I'm just using these people, these well-respected people within the society to give you example so that you prepare your mind because nothing is impossible in that damnable zoological republic. Tomorrow, you might sleep and wake up and hear that Ebu Kobi, breaking news, Ebu Kobi visits Mazen Namdekano. And Mazen Namdekano said that he did not support sit at home, that those who are doing it are criminals. Prepare your mind. This is the era. This is their only game. It is only game. And like this, my brother said, we'll say Anster, he said, next time you will hear that Mazen Namdekano sends message to Tunumbu and said, yep, yeah, he will attack you, dear beloved president, I am ordering you to stop sit at home. What is difficult in religion? Again? Is the people asking of Mazi said, or Mazi did not say. What the people are agitating is released on Endu, but because they are afraid, because what Paul Achebe said is their stand. Paul Achebe said, if Odendu don't want to recognize the DOS, let him languish or in, in the other way around, let him die inside the SS dungeon. Because he said, for a very long time, they should have give them red line. You know what red line is? It means death. It means silencing. And if that is not the stand of DOS, they would have suspended Paul Achebe by now. But because it is their stand, it is the behind scene, what was playing behind the scene. It is what was playing behind the scene. Behind the scene, they are struggling to force Tony Ndu to believe and, and jettison Biafra. That is the only game they are playing behind the scene. That is the reason why they have withdrawn Tony Ndu from your presence. That is the reason why, for a very long time, you have not seen Tony Ndu. is the behind the scene they are threatening him with death as they said because Paul Achebe said it that if Onyandu don't want to recognize the OS let him rot in jail that is their stand this one Onyandu said Onyandu said is to control your cycle why they force Onyandu because if they did not con do this damage control, you people might have, all of you might turn against them tomorrow. I am talking to wise people. I am talking to reasonable people. I am talking to people without hatred. In freedom fighting. Do you know the reason why I train myself to, to filter every message? If Simon start doing criminality tomorrow, and get us in Biafra. You will see me hansing up. After all, if I could hands up against uh, uh, Rike, that I was a commander there. So where can't I hands up? If I even if I can hands up after meeting, after leaving that place to Lagos and had a meeting with Mayo, which is second to Wazirike, which was pressuring me, begging me to go back, that they will do this and they will do that, and I refuse. So, who, who can't I forget? But the reason why you see all these things is playing is because the DOS have sold out deep. Why they are telling you that Simon is a perima? Why they are telling you that Simon is a perima? In the other way around, they are, and again, why they are telling you that Simon is a perima? They are telling you that Simon is working with Nigerian government, which you have not heard from Simon. Instead, you heard Simon threatening the Nigerian states. Now, the same people who told you Simon is working with Nigerian government announced publicly in their platform that they have agreed to work with Nigerian security agencies. 
at least when I had it from Jaffa child platform, I said, hey, what is happening? Yet, the people following them cannot reason. They said, will you join them to fight criminality? Show me any place in the world that that have happened. Show me any place, any single place in the world that that have happened. Okay, Tempo, No, you cannot give super chat on Facebook, please. Please, I am directing somebody that is asking me questions on how to give me super chat. You can only give me super chat on YouTube. Go to, if you go to YouTube, there is a place that you see thanks. Hit the thanks and follow the direction. My Facebook is not yet monetized. Please. That is the direction. So when you hear Benjamin goofing, speaking from both sides of, of his mouth, is a damage control. Otherwise, ben Benjamin cannot be in Abuja and do that particular program because in the same Abuja, he had a court standing that told, told Benjamin, you cannot participate in the issue of Biafra for now. The court case that he had, distance him from the issue of Biafra. So if Benjamin were to be right, if Benjamin were to be sincere fighting for Biafra, he will not do program from Abuja. Otherwise, if he is sincere, he will be arrested immediately. When did Abuja start supporting Biafra? That anyone who is uh, fighting for Biafra could give you a message from Abuja, could broadcast from Abuja, not even broadcasting very far, but this is uh, Asoroko. This is where I am broadcasting. And they went to Kenya to kidnap Mazen Namdekano. Who was broadcasting in Britain? But they can allow somebody broadcasting few years away from Asoroko. All of you thinking, thinking that uh, Omo Koko is sincere. All of you are in for a shock. My number is not private. My number is public. My number is plus 31. Plus 31. 62. 09198688. That's my number. Plus 31. 62. 09198688. That is what they are doing. Haji Brian, who no angwa kamu, angu gare. People who are saying that Konyendu was kidnapped from Kenya because of broadcasting in Britain, in Europe. He broadcasted from Europe, not in Africa here. But Konyendu visited Kenya. He was kidnapped because of issue of Biafra. Then Benjamin Madubugu. You can now tell me that he is sincere, fighting for Biafra, and he can broadcast a few years from Asorok. Asorok, Labour Benjamin Madubugu no Enegi command. And you, and you feel that he will reach You feel that he will teach be brain again. You feel that he is sincere. All of you are in for a shock. The shock of your life. The shock of your life. That is what all of you are in for. What is the stand of DOS? Is that say, that thing that uh, Masi Paul Achebe said? If Onyendu don't want to recognize them, that he should die in DSS dungeon. That is the stand. And that is what they are doing very craftily. But they cannot do it without your trust. So they want to do it with controlling your mindsets. And that is the reason why on this era of Onyendu said, you must prepare your mind because the next one that they are coming, it's with somebody, a respected man of God that you trust. All those of you dancing to the anointing of Rabba Baratata, I respect Mbaka and Ebu Kobi. Don't say that I am insulting them because they will always change the narrative. But why I used the most 
trusted among the people. It's for you to prepare your mind in what is to come. This is the era of man, he said. If they can deceive Akaji Ofo, they can deceive anybody. If they can take Akaji Ofo, Ibu, to Abuja, wearing canopy on his head, to go and lie in Abuja. What he said in Abuja was pure lie. He never met anybody. Akaji Ofo Aguleri never met anybody. But it is the damage control of the federal government. How can we suppress the people? They notice that it is the people that are supporting. So we need to suppress the people with Onyandu said, Onyandu said, so that once they turn against Simon, we can be able to strike, knowing fully well that Simon have no power. That is their stand. And that is what I'm telling you. You know me, Abu Mai, Anami Isogini, Ururu. If you do good, I praise you. If you do bad, I come out. Prepare your mind. Is there anything difficult? The same Martin Namdekano who goes against any military invasion of Alibu. Military invasion is in top gear. Those people telling you, man, they said, cannot post it in their platform. Because their mind is to kill every working thing. Man, say, prepare before he go to DSS. Their mind is to break the backbone of man, say, just the way that they did to Uwazirike. That is the reason why you saw the highest commander. Benjamin Madubuku is the highest commander. Going to Abuja to lie to you that Onyandu said. If Onyandu is telling them all those things, why is it that uh, Paul Achebe voiced out frustration that uh, meaning that there is a meeting? Let me tell you people what you people don't know. I went deep in IPOB. Those of them abroad don't know what I know in IPOB. I went very deep in IPOB. I know how information, I know how information are circulated. I know even in the media, what we don't want them to know, we cannot allow them to know it. We will always channel their mind elsewhere so that they don't expose the plans on the ground before the striking. We give them another information to spread. That is working brainly. They talk another thing. Why the Nigerian government believe in that thing that they are talking? We are approaching them. I went very deep and I know a lot of things. Benjamin is the highest command in Biafra line. And they have taken him to Abuja. Benjamin has a, a standing court case that told him you cannot participate in anything IPOB. Benjamin is still having court case. If he were to be sincere, that Benjamin, he can never broadcast from Abuja. Otherwise, after that particular broadcast, he will be arrested. He will be behind bar. But look at the 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 the, the handwriting and the behaviors of those in DOS. They are now saying. Somebody wrote to me, uh, you are supporting me, your, 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 your supporters are scattered all over DSS in, in the prison for, 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 for constituting nuisance. I did not reply that particular uh, comment. I did not reply it. So, now DSS have become innocent people fighting for a just cause, arresting supporters who are now misbehaving. The same thing that they did before you when Onyandu was around. The same DSS that they are exonerating, saying they have arrested all the experiments. They are in DSS. The same DSS went to Kenya to uh, kidnap Onyandu. That means Onyandu is also a Berima. Get me, get the stand, and get the points. 
Get me. Get my stand. Get the point. Do not miss a single point. If these people who are now telling the, the language that they are using now is, uh, you, you can see that DOS is not miscreant. They are not uh, behaving like criminals. They are focused. Miscreant, that same language they used against Onyendu, that he's a miscreant. So DOS have distanced themselves from Onyendu by not being miscreant, by Nigerian state not referring them as miscreant. That means they are now in the sun shoe with Owazrike. Owazrike who told them that uh, you can see that uh, army is not coming, police is not coming because I am not miscreant. Get the point. Get the point straight. All of you are in for a shock. That's why tomorrow you are going to hear either Bishop Mbaka or just a well respected man of God. I respect Mbaka very much. Even if they don't use Mbaka, they can use any other person. Because I know that these people have conscience. They may not join. But one thing that wonders me in that Nigeria is that if Mbaka could keep quiet during the death of Buhari, that means he can he can act. Please, I'm being sincere. If all your men of God in Nigeria could keep quiet during the death of Buhari, that means they can act. Because the Bible that we are holding, we read the prophets of old standing shoulder to shoulder with the people, even before the death. So Nigerian prophets are afraid of death. That means they are prophets of money. Please get me. And if you go here and talk rubbish, I am spreading, I am spreading the gospel of truth. I'm not going to share my loot here. If you go here and tell me, oh, why did you mention such a person? Chileke, oh, go, 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 go. This is another stand. Just wait, now it's not going to be too far. It's not going to be too far, you are going to hear it. This era, ask them, what is difficult for your people to do? You are now supporting the same state government that Onyendu did not support. And you are looking for who is working with the Nigerian government. You are supporting senators that Onyendu did not support. You are looking who is working for the uh, federal government. You are supporting Nigerian military that Onyendu cried that these people are killing our people, that they should go to north. They are supporting them. Oh, they are there wiping out criminality. bringing army of occupation into your land and saying that they are fighting for criminality. I see all of you. All of you wishing me dead. I see all of you. All of you. I see all of you. Just go and ask those who know me directly. I don't do anything that if you do anything that provoke my spirit, no one else will fight you. I'm a child of destiny. Go to your village. You can see my sister always watch me here. I said the things that I say. My sister always watch me here. Now look at what I will say again. I am the only person in the history of modern day life that I know that speak before six months. Ask my siblings. My mother ran away and left me. So you know that I am prepared before life. I stayed a year plus in my mother's womb and Mbiaruwa, a Jimmy Shibiwa, up a Kanjiwebia. So I am more prepared and entered into this world. So wishing me that is just like you calling the wrath of God upon you. Because Chineke Keshirimike. Chineke Keshirimike. That is the reason why I am exposing your impunity, your criminality, your devilish mindsets. All these lawyers, a lawyer, Ejimako, was forced into selling out. 
because on a normal note, if Aloy is willingly doing what he's doing, you cannot see his mouth doing pa -pa 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 -pa, banging. It remains a little while for him to cry in that video. Go and watch the video. Behaving as somebody that they point. And guns on him that if you don't speak, you will die. All of you who are intelligent should go and watch the video. He's a sellout now, no doubt. Mazen Namdekano never sent anybody any message. Otherwise, if he is sending message against what he initially believed. They could have released him now nah? when Owazirike agreed. He was released. So if Mazi is sending message, he, what is difficult for him to sign what they asked him to sign? If he can send message against what he initially believed. Things are no longer being the same. We must remain resolute right now and shoulder to shoulder with Onyendu. Knowing fully well that Onyendu never sent any one of them, they are playing to the gallery. That is the exposition, the initial exposition of Mazi for Achebe. If you are if you well intelligent enough, he said, if Onyendu don't want to believe in DOS, that they are in charge, that Onyendu should remain in DSS, meaning that they have power to detain Onyendu in DSS. Have they suspended for Lachebe? The answer is no. So he was speaking the mind of DOS members. He was voicing out their minds, one after the other, one after the other. And that is the reason why you have seen them coming out with a different lies and propaganda that you are buying today. Onion the said, oh, Onion the said. Imagine Onion the Benjamin said, I went and I confronted him. I confronted him, meaning that that word, Onion the did not send them, so he went to force him. And then you stand up and shout that it made me in Finland did not have my right, uh, respect. After that, your people go with Ghana must go. And your your puppets, your irats, those behaving like uh, uh susu, those behaving like Ndeshini Kakotale. Goes home with lies and propaganda. We all await you. The evil that you do will always catch up with you. There is no point that you break. There is no point that you will make today. There is nothing. Even if you like, go and invite Pope to come and visit Onyendu. The answer is not who visit Onyendu. The answer is release Onyendu. What is very difficult for them? If you can say that you support the military invasion, uh, that they are combing criminals, meaning that uh, ab initio there have been criminals. That means ab initio that Mazen Namdekan is a criminal. That is what they are saying. Because the same DSS, the same Nigerian military, combing criminals, went to Kenya to kidnap him. That ab initio, what they are saying is Mazen Namdekano himself is a criminal. Otherwise, why did they go to Kenya to kidnap him and then keep him incommunicado, not even giving him the right? After appearing in court, they refused him the right of going to prison. They kept him and continue keeping him in DSS dungeon. And from there, they are telling you Onyendu said, and you believe in it. I am one person that will always tell you the truth, no matter what. They chased, they spied me, 
they wanted to assassinate me. I'm saying it publicly. Using these criminals. I'm an encounter about the good dragon. But about us, I go my. About us, I go my. They forced me out of Nigeria. Um, I am one out of many. If you say the truth, they will kill you. If they don't get you, they will use DSS. And the same people will still be shouting to you. And they may is killing our people. The same people, criminals, will still be telling you. And they may is killing our people. When they are the ones perpetrating the evil. Abacha also, I am from me from here. It is good morning.